It took 59 seconds for me to be hooked on a celestial wonder, caused by the cosmic vaults of our moon orbiting around the Earth, a total solar eclipse occurs when the moon perfectly passes between the sun and the earth. This cosmic coincidence occurs because our sun is 400 times bigger than our moon. But our moon is 400 times nearer. On the 20th of April, 2023, I got to tick off a childhood dream. And I also got to live stream a total solar eclipse to over 100 million people from the Perth Observatory and timeanddate.com. I got to share this cosmic grandeur with not only my friends, but 20,000 people from around the world in Exmouth in the northwest Cape of Western Australia. But nothing prepared me really for seeing a total solar eclipse and totality. This video here is showing my, my friends and I experiencing totality for the first time. As you can see, as the moon eats away at the sun, it's getting darker. It's getting colder as well. Roughly around 10 minutes before totality, didn't feel any radiant heat on my skin. It was a really freaky feeling. Just before totality, if you look back, you can actually see this moon's shadow racing up towards you, like an old friend coming to embrace you. And when you look back at the eclipse, you see the last vestiges of sunlight escaping through the hills on the side of the moon. For me and astrophotographers, this is our time to be racing around, getting our photos and getting the shots correct. Thankfully to one of my friends who shouted out to me, Matt, you've actually got to experience this. I stopped worrying about the live stream and I actually went out and looked at totality and I was awestruck. I was making a personal connection with the universe. There I could see that black disk that is our moon and that is blocking a celestial object that we are told never to look at with our own eyes. Day became night. You could see the planets. You could see the stars. You could see the sun's glorious corona there. This is the sun's atmosphere. And it extends millions of kilometres into space. It's actually hotter than the surface of the sun. You could see the solar prominences on the side of the eclipse. This is plasma and gas that are caught in huge magnetic fields loops on the surface of the sun. These will create solar flares and possibly even coronal mass ejections. And if the Earth is in the right place at the wrong time, they can actually harm satellites and also cause power outages, but they also create the most mesmerising auroras as well. You can actually even experience the eclipse through sound. You're hearing everyone cheer. You're also hearing animals making their noises because they're confused. Is it day or is it night? And as totality ends and the moon gives back our sun, my first thought was, I've got to see another one. <laughs> 59 seconds wasn't long enough. It, as much as that, I was amazed at that eclipse, and the audience was amazed as well. It was another total solar eclipse here in Western Australia that changed humanity's understanding of not only space and time itself. In September 1922, teams from the University of Western Australia, Perth Observatory and observatories around the world travelled to Wallal. This is a remote cattle station near Broome, Western Australia. Their mission was to test Einstein's theory of relativity. Einstein's theory of relativity tells us that a body like our sun can not only bend the light 
and its path. But it can also distort time as well. And this becomes evident during a total solar eclipse, during totality. And you can see by recording the distortion and the, the actual stretching of the light around the actual eclipse itself, these teams were actually able to prove Einstein's theory of relativity. This was Western Australia showing the world it could be at the forefront of science. This scientific discovery was immense for human civilization. Just in terms of physics, our knowledge of elementary particles greatly increased. And we entered the nuclear age. We got nuclear power. We got cancer treatments. We got better applications for medical diagnosis and treatments as well. In astrophysics and cosmology, we were able to predict some of the most enormous astronomical events and phenomena. We were able to predict neutron stars, black holes, gravitational waves, even getting here today. You know, we, because of this discovery, we were able to have GPS satellites as well. It's seven months since this eclipse, and I'm still amazed I got to see it. Being up there, it made me think about my own personal journey into astronomy. I was so, so thankful for my dad. As a nine-year-old, he and I watching Space Shuttle Columbia fly over. To my mum, who in 2014 convinced me to apply to become a Perth Observatory volunteer, even when I didn't actually think I was going to be selected. I wish I'd experienced this with my dad, but it's made me want to experience the next one with my own family. Parents, you can have a real influence on your children's lives, just like my parents did. There are so many free astronomical events. Simple things of, as watching the International Space Station fly over, looking at the moon, looking, watching it turn blood red during a total solar eclipse, getting out of the city, going camping and experience a meteor shower like the Geminids in mid-December. Earth is the only place in this solar system where a total solar eclipse can occur. You can have your own experience with one. Western Australia gets five in the next 50 years. Perth finally gets one in 2068. <laughs> I hope you go up and see that eclipse. I promise you, it will be worth it. Make sure you experience it with your friends and family. Make sure you take lots of photos and videos as well. Images can't capture that feeling you get during totality, but they are a fantastic memory bank for when you look back and experience what a good time it was. I hope I've convinced you to look up at the sky more often. You'll be amazed what's up there. And if I've convinced you to go and buy a pair of binoculars or a telescope, I wish you good hunting. And make sure the first object you look at is the moon. Thank you.